Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 12 noon Eastern time on Thursday, middle of the trading day. We got all the markets in the red right now. A little bit of volatility to the downside with the S&Ps negative by 14 points, trading at 44.78. NASDAQ 100 negative by 42 points, 15,323. You had the Dow in the positive earlier in the session. Back to the negative by 74 points right now, 35,286. And we get the Russell, negative by about half a percent, negative by 10 points, trading at 22.26. We jump around to commodities, crude off 70 cents at 67.66. Get the gold contract catching a bid. You see an acceleration in gold there. Now we have some geopolitical news out there, unfortunately. News of a couple of explosions outside of the Kabul airport. Looks to be some U.S. troops wounded. Not what you want to hear in any way. Looks to be a little bit of what's spooking the market. Uh, you could say, not sure how that translates quite into S&P territory in terms of negative action. But nonetheless, that's where things got a little bit volatile. You trade down to a point of 44.65 about an hour ago. Since then, though, the S&Ps have bounced back about 15 points right now to 44.80. We continue looking at what's going on in the markets. We jump to the 10-year. You got the 10-year right Right now, trading down three ticks at 133.16. We're looking at a 10-year yield. I believe we're approaching 1.36%. Let me pull it up right now as we speak. Looking at the 10-year, jumping around. We're talking about a yield right now, 1.35%. 1.35%. Still an elevated yield as we've seen the price pull back. We have the virtual Jackson Hole event starting today. We got some Fed speak out there already. You had Bullard out there early this morning. Uh, he was talking about Pairing back that stimulus as early as ending at March of 2022, wrapping up some of those numbers. Chairman Powell, the main event, he'll be on course for 10 a.m. tomorrow with his speech. Uh, don't imagine he'll be as harsh in terms of his rhetoric, in terms of what we've been hearing out of some of the hawks out there early this morning. Uh, what else we got going around? Jumping around to the VIX this morning, we have the volatility index spiking above 19. We're back to 1777. Let's take a quick look at some of the stocks with earnings. We got Salesforce uh, with their numbers last night up 4.7% today. Alta uh, with their numbers giving back all the gains to be actually in the red after strong, strong numbers for them last night as well. William Sonoma out with numbers. They give back some of the gains still up about 10%. On the flip side of that, dollar stores, not where you want to be today. Dollar Tree down 11%. Dollar General climbing from the lows, still down about 4% so far today. Uh, and after the bell, I believe it is, we get Peloton. Peloton up about 8 tenths percent. They got a $9.64 move, quite a move for $117 stock. We got to replay this hour, folks, but live programming Steve at 1, David 2, Tom at 3. We'll be right back.